What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and the reason that you're seeing that graphic I wanted to show it when you first log in some of you guys that are coming to the channel are still asking about you know What's a rookie premiere? What's going on? Shout out to all of you guys that are helping out the new viewers because eventually they're gonna be veterans just like you So you might as well show them love right now pretty much We've gone over all the things involved in the rookie premieres uh, Please feel free to check out the Madden NFL 20 playlist on this channel It'll guide you right through it. Pretty much, it's a transferable card into Madden 21 with a lower overall, but they upgrade dynamically, so you get free upgrades for doing nothing. But you must complete the set in Madden 20. As we go through this right now, we're gonna go ahead and do our daily uh, situation where we open a pack from the store and we win two games. All right, so always, like, you know what it is? It's like the repetition. You know, re repetition is like the best thing no matter what you're doing. When you're working out for muscle memory, you're doing this, whatever you're doing, because you get used to it and you know it's gonna be done. They're gonna absolutely have this going on in Madden 21, so get used to it. For those of you guys still trying to join the G Myers World family, uh, we do have 1.7 um, members on the um, in our actual private uh, group for PS4. You can send an invite and go ahead and join. This is where people meet up to do, you know, mutt, uh, what is that, mutt squads. Uh, they talk about different things with their cards. Very, very positive things within the community, um, but just our private thing. If you're somebody that you feel um, can go ahead and add to that, then go ahead and send a request to be added. Uh, myself or my team will review it and you will be added as long as there's no, you know, crazy history about you on the PS4 because we don't really want that. Uh, we don't want people trying to go crazy and saying crazy stuff inside the chat. Um, so we try to make it safe for everyone. Um, no coin selling, you know, basic things that protects your account because I don't want you guys to get yourselves involved in anything crazy. So anybody that kind of violates those terms will be banned effective immediately. Winnie the Pooh will come out and it's always a bad scene when he does. Uh, so I just want to make sure that everybody understands uh, pretty much going forward that we will be able to do a lot of different things. Um, you know, we're going to be probably going to uh, look at what you guys have been recommending. Now, you guys recommended Galladay, all right? I didn't really want to play with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this dude kind of sucks, but you guys recommended him. So it's like, all right, cool. We're going to go ahead and do it because I asked you guys, like, what do you want to see? Some of you guys said Kenny Galladay. I forgot some of the other names, but keep throwing the names out uh, that you guys are going to want to see because what's going to happen is... Um, you know, pretty much with the way everything is working out right now, we're going to have a lot of different, you know, just go ahead and just create players and go out into the game and see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So this guy is 6'4". I told you guys the minimum height for mossing dudes should be 6'4". It should always be 6'4". All right. We've gone 6'3". I can do it with 6'2", 6'3". 6'4 is just easy. So 6-4 and up is going to be good. The reason I'm going to this archive team of the week is because you saw that guy going for 57,000. I'm not spending that for a 92 overall. So what do we do here, guys? The way I always taught you guys, you go to the set because the set sometimes is just going to be outright cheaper, uh, you know, overall than, you know, with anything else that you can do inside the auction house. So always go back and look at those sets. Shout out to EA for having them available throughout the entire year. Uh, so you guys can always go back. They archive it. They put it there. So it's not going anywhere. Don't overspend. Don't be like me. I overspend because sometimes I'm doing live videos and I have to show you guys what's going on. So I take the sacrifice of the coins. You don't have to. You know, you can just sit there, wait, see what's going on and get it for the cheapest price possible because I do not want you guys having to overspend. I just don't want it. All right. So with this, we go and we complete the set. We're not giving that guy, whoever he is, 57K. We're going to go out here. We're going to complete this set and put that card in there. Now, it seems cheap like, yo, bro, what's going on? But we got to be very, very specific because we're not sure what else is you know coming from Madden 20 uh, or are they just going straight to Madden 21. You guys have been seeing some of the insights that I've been putting out on you know the Madden 21 videos right here on this channel with the information that they, you know that they've released you guys are showing overwhelming support shout out to all of you guys for still watching my video so late in the season I love you guys for that but I'm gonna keep giving you guys that because you guys want the feedback you guys want to know what do I think about Madden 21 what's gonna be happening with it well right now we haven't seen any gameplay from it yet I'm gonna have to actually see the gameplay in motion uh, that should be a part of EA play so once we see it I can kind of gauge what we're gonna do because last year when we saw the gameplay for the first time, I was pretty much able to gauge a lot of different things that I shared with you guys. So I like to do that, keep everything going because a lot of you guys that are running your mouth, oh bro, it's the same game. Like, yeah, bro, you guys gonna be the same guys pre-ordering six MVP editions. So you might as well just relax yourselves and, um, you know, get ready to go with all of that. And then we'll go from there, all right guys? So as we continue to upgrade Kenny Galladay, 
uh, you're gonna go ahead and see his final, um, you know, his final tier in a second right here. 93 speed, so he goes to 96. We're gonna go ahead and give him the usual customizations. All right, so, you know, double me, streak specialist, uh, post flag elite, outside apprentice. All right, he's not a gold 99, so he does not get four ability slots. So that's something that's very important that you guys need to really pay attention to. Um, if you're looking for receivers that can get more, obviously go for those receivers that are gold 99s. It does not matter that he's gonna be a chemmed 99 Kenny Galladay, that doesn't matter, okay? What matters is if his final tier shows that gold 99. I've also received that question. So the blue chem 99 doesn't mean anything. You're not getting that fourth ability slot. So just make sure you guys are aware of that. Now, that's something else that you guys have been asking me about. Like, Jimai, what do you think they're gonna do with 21? Are they gonna offer us more ability slots? Is it gonna be less as the tiers goes up? Like, are they gonna just give us everything at the beginning of the year? Guys, as soon as that information comes out, it's all on them because they're gonna have like a surprise for us. They always do. You know, pretty much it's gonna be a situation where it's like, oh my God, like they really did that or they really did that. And most of the things that they do, they actually upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? As far as like being able to downgrade the players and sell them and keep them auctionable, it's gradually gotten better as far as the mutt, you know, a mutt guy like myself that we, you know, we look for like certain things so that we don't really lose everything. You're still gonna pay that tax because they have to make sure that they charge us so that people don't continuously go and sell and return or whatever. So that's pretty much what that tax is for. I would probably prefer 5%, but maybe the calculator that they use is better with 10. 10% is always just easier with any kind of calculation. So right here, we're just gonna replace one Lions receiver who was a GOAT in Calvin Johnson for another Lions receiver. That's an up and coming uh, player right now. Go ahead and activate him and then we're gonna see what's popping real quick. Now, the reason that the title says that I create 99 Kenny Galladay and play a head-to-head -head game like a Madden pro is because we're gonna run into an opponent where, you know, pretty much these guys, they know I'm gonna moss them, so they're gonna play different coverages. And it's pretty much, always remember this, as mad as people get about, you know, you mossing them, the game is run-based. So never forget that. And I wanna make sure you guys understand that because it's a very, very important thing to understand. What we're doing is we're passing in a game where most, well, I can't say most, all of them, all of the Madden competitors that won money uh, on the competitive scene ran the football. So we're doing something that's not regular. When you go out there and moss a dude and you're screaming out G-Maya, you're doing something that, like, it's not the norm because most people can't do it consistently. Very, very few, few people have mastered it to where it's like an unstoppable trade. I have done that. But because everybody quadruples and double teams and does all that, you know, all that stuff to me, they seem to forget that my offense is stretch and streaks, not just streaks. You see what I'm saying? So, guys, this right here, right, I am i don't think I'm going to throw one pass except for a two-point conversion, right? And I'm going to show you guys, good defense and running the ball is still the most uh, dominant version of Madden. Because if, let's be honest, if you come out and pass the ball every play, and a guy has good D, you're gonna get boxed because the way that the game is, the defense is so OP out there, it's not much you can really do. So with everything that goes on, you have to really understand that. So pretty much the way defensively people play me, I can do this pretty much every game and cause issues for my opponent. I'm not gonna win every game, it's Madden 20, but I can cause a lot of issues for my opponent because they know that I wanna come out and moss them. So Kenny Galladay is out there, but he's just out there this game. He's just blocking, he's doing what he has to do, and that's pretty much all that he's doing. There is absolutely nothing else that that young man has to do right now other than be a decoy and block because we're gonna show everybody that it's either one way or the other. You see, people get upset. Oh, bro, oh, yo, he broke the game. All he does is throw streaks. So now I'm gonna do what everybody else did to win hundreds of thousands of dollars. And people are gonna still complain. So that's what it's about. It doesn't matter. What I want from my viewers is I want you to do the best thing that you can do that is part of the game that helps you win. I don't want you guys DC glitching. I don't want you guys rage quitting. If you guys DC glitch and you rage quit, you're not part of the GMI's World Fan. Because those are things that we don't do. So. We come out, we find things that work for us, and we just moss dudes uncontrollably. And when dudes come out, you know, playing three or four guys on one guy, who is that your Davian Connor that just ran right past him? When dudes want to come out and run four, three, you know, I mean like four or three guys on the player every time, I thought I would have got that pick. He was still moving crazy. We got to run the ball. You know, sometimes I get stubborn. You know what I'm saying? Like if I want to moss somebody, like, and I don't care, you guys have seen me moss so many people all over the, you know, all over the place. Right here, by the way, guys, some people will come out and do what he's doing right there. When, when they come out in bunch and they block everyone and they send out two routes and they have the blue route, 
um, you got to be careful with it because he's, I think he's about to dot me right there with it. Um, what happens with that is the angles. Always remember the angles. What are you doing? Are you crashing them to the left, the right, up, down? Understand that the way you do that, that's going to contribute to the way that they get pressure. Now, whether you want to contain or not, that's on you. That's for you to decide based on if you can't adjust your, um, you know, pretty much adjust your uh, defense to be able to play those outside, you know, a guy that wants to run escape artists because that's pretty much the way that you pass the ball in Madden. Nobody complains about that. Well, some people do, escape artists being OP, dudes running outside the pocket throwing corner routes, but people seem to be more upset about getting mossed than a guy that comes out every play and runs outside the pocket and throws it. And that's fine. People pick and choose what they like, but at the end of the day, that's not our problem. We're not trying to find out what people like. What we're trying to do is win Madden football games. That's what we're trying to do. So, you know, if we got to run stretch every play because that's going to help us win the game, that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't really matter at this point. Like right here, uh, you know, there's certain three, four defenses where you can shoot the gap directly as soon as you hack the ball. I had to experience that playing guys and figure out how to get my guy to run because EA patched it when dudes were just shooting the gap. Remember that other stupid defense where you get your quarterback sack? It's sort of like that, but you have to use the middle linebacker and then you have to just time it. And as soon as they hike it, you can shoot the gap and come through on any stretch run play in certain formations. The tighter formations, it's harder, but you could see that I'm running it out of a regular two wide receiver formation and, um, you know, pretty much running the ball because that's what I do. I look at the tape and I understand what they're doing. You don't you don't got to be a rocket scientist to understand. And, and just for that play right there um, where he tried to run with his quarterback, I know that that's what he's going to do every play. So depending on, you, you gotta be able to look at that and understand and know, all right, my dude has enforcer. So if this guy wants to run with his quarterback all the time, we're gonna make sure that we're around the play and we're gonna send out, we're gonna send our user right at him, not worrying about a thing. Now, that is very, very dangerous. And you're gonna see that later in the video uh, that when you do send your, uh, your user, you can get juked out because RG3 is actually a very, very elusive quarterback, obviously, right there. I don't know what just happened with that. You know, everybody needs a little bit of luck, I guess. He just threw it right there blindly, and uh, Jalen Ramsey didn't play it. So, you know, it is what it is. Like, right here, I'm going to I'm gonna try to tackle him myself. He got the good block, but Night Train is still playing good defense. Um, right there, we're just going to scream at him because we don't really care. Like, we don't care what he's blocking. We don't care what he's doing. We're just going to scream at him, and that's pretty much what it is. Um, as he continues to go with it, uh, you know, Bunch is relatively e easy to defend with 3-4 with Bear. Now, right here, you see that? That's a very, very good move in the juke by him. Because, like, I don't know if he has human joystick, I don't know what he has, but he's so elusive, it doesn't really matter. Like, I have to be very, very careful with that when I send my user, because that can result in some really bad things. Right here, uh, you gotta be careful with that motion out, uh, with the bunch, be careful with the zone. You see the way that, um, you see the way that Jalen Ramsey was looking down at the play? I don't know if you guys picked up on that. Um, that's a specific zone that you guys have to use. Don't run man, because it gets wide open once they go out and up. Uh, with that little wheel route on the side for that verticals so you got to be careful right there i hate when they do that where they just set you with a play and I, I i just wanted to kick a field goal this is literally the only pass i'm going to throw the, in the game um he catches it and gets bashed immediately because i don't even know what i picked bro i hate when they do that and you just set it up uh, right away so you guys can pretty much get the niche of what's going on he rolls outside the pocket throws a corner route and those are dots you know everybody loves that it turns everybody on you know it is what it is but that's not our problem our our job is to figure out how to deal with it and how to stop it. Enforcer again. You know what I'm saying, Harrison, bro? In real life, he probably will pull out his tech and take care of me accordingly. The dude got bodies low, low key. But for this game, he's getting enforcer. And uh, pretty much that's going to be the end of it. So we did create Kenny Galladay and we did not throw one pass. I apologize for that. But you guys know what's coming. I got to get you guys that gameplay. If you want that gameplay sooner than later, I'm going to need you to write the number seven in the comment section because I got to know that you dudes want this. Once again, appreciate all of you guys coming out and showing that love and support. I won't forget all you guys that are trying to still be first so late in the year to my videos. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Until next time, one love, y'all.